Hey everyone, a quick video today. I just want to tell you about a tool that you can use to create public URLs for your apps that are running on localhost. So this is good if you want to demo your app to someone, if you want to do things like test a webhook integration, or even if you want to test some kind of mobile app integration where the app is calling APIs that are in your particular backend app, or you just want to test the mobile layout on your phone instead of in the browser's emulator. So this is really easy to use. It's basically a single binary that you have to use. And the service is free for like the most basic functionality, which is creating a public URL. You can pay to get more features, but the basic one is free. So you just create an account and you sign in. And then you can download the binary. So there are four operating systems available, Mac, Linux, FreeBSD, and Windows. I downloaded the Linux one and it's a zip file. So you just unzip the file and inside of the file, there's just a single binary. So this single binary is what you're going to use to create this connection between the public you know, web and your local host. So the first thing you need to do after you unzip it and put it somewhere that's convenient for you is you need to run this command. Um, and you can just copy and paste this here because it has your auth token that is associated with your account. And it's just gonna put it in the configuration that the binary uses. And then to use it, uh, I'll show you that. So let me go over to my VS code and I have the beginning of a Flask app, so I haven't written any routes yet. So what I'll do is I'll create a couple of routes. First route will be an index route. So I'll just say index and I'll return uh, hello world, okay? So that's the first one I want. And then the second one, I'll return some JSON data. So I'll call this one JSON and I'll return just a dictionary which will get converted to JSON for me. And I'll call this um, value and then hello world, okay? So those are the two routes that I have. And if I run this using Flask run, we see it has my development server running on port 5000 on my local machine. So I can click that and I see it here. So this is my local machine. So if I wanted to show someone this, for example, I can use Ingrok to create a connection for me. So what I'll do is I'll open up a new tab and I'll call the, um, I'm in the wrong directory. I'll call the binary, so Ingrok and then HTTP. And then what you put here is the port that your app is running on. So by default, Flask apps run on port 5000. If you're using something like Django, there's, it's port 8000. So just put the port that you're using. I have 5000, so I can start it and we'll see some information here. It's gonna give me a URL. And if I go to my uh, dashboard here and go to tunnels under status and just wait for this to kind of catch up because I just started it, uh, we'll get a URL here and then you can click on it. And this URL is something that anyone can go to. So anyone in the world can go to this URL and they'll get the output from your app that's running on your local machine. And if I go to slash, uh, slash JSON, I don't know why I can't type a slash, <laughs> there we go. I see value hello world. So we know this is coming from my app. And if I go here, um, back to the original tab, we see the requests coming in. We see a request on JSON. And then we see a couple of requests on the index. The first one I did from the local machine and the second one I did uh, from that Ingrok URL. So I'll put a link to this service in the description below. Like I said, it's free if you wanna use it and they have some paid plans if you wanna try it. I think the, the free plan will get you a long way though. I hope I was able to tell you about something that you probably didn't know exists and it may be useful to you in the future. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.